I am Geoffrey Villard when back in the Tuscany campaign from the Italian wars, a mod for medieval two total war kingdoms. Two years later we are back in the Duce de Dauphiné for another battle. Paolo the Wrathful commands our main force, while Hauptmann Paolo is expected with reinforcements. A force of over 1,000 French knights has deployed for battle on the precipices of a steep hillside. You never know what to expect from the AI. So here they are coming down the mountainside and we are hitting them with our ripples as Hauptmann Paolo is coming to our aid. The enemy cavalry is attacking our pikemen since they have no access to the other units who are higher up on the mountainside and they are partially routed by the fire from the most rebuild and our hakebuzes here this wonderful looking mercenary hakebuzes and some equally nice looking mercenary pike So you can see the overall battle situation where both deployed on hillsides that come down from the hillside and up our own hillside, we are blocking them with our pike. Now the reinforcements are coming from the top of the hill, you can see them here. And they have some pikemen who have blocked the path of this cavalry so they don't, so that they are not able to come up the hill any further. So this mountainside is completely blocked up and our hand gunners on the side are about to open fire at this cover. The uh, main force of the enemy cavalry is down here and they are being routed by the gunfire from our arquebusiers and from our rebels. The entire enemy army has been routed. We're sending our cavalry to chase them down. There's one unit that has not been routed, and we have one cavalry unit skirmishing the rear. But now they have been surrounded, and uh, some of our, Praise to our Lord. our mounted crossbowmen are general. chasing the units that are going up the hill. We are skirmishing them to death with our mounted crossbowmen. The cavalry that was on this side has been routed, and the enemy general has been routed. It has been slain, in fact. And so that was the battle. The enemy flees the battle! Run down those worthless peasants! Another deadly victory. Another case of an easy murder of our enemy. So the enemy knights are retreating uphill, but of course the uh, path to freedom is blocked by the pikemen that were coming as reinforcement under Hauptmann Paolo. And so now the enemy knights are blocked on both sides, they're trapped on this mountainside and our fate is sealed. Okay, it looks like one of them has made it through. A couple a couple of enemy knights have made it through. They're squeezing past these uh, hung gunners that have taken out the swords and our men are trying to hold them back. Our cavalry is chasing them from behind. General is also here. Paolo the Wrathful. And the enemy also had some uh, spearmen and they are being taken prisoner. And the enemy knights are given quarter, those who want to take it. Just a handful of enemy knights now left. There are some stuck on this mountainside, some more trying to get through our 
pikemen and uh, hand gunners on the side. French knights are trapped, there is no way out for them unless they want to risk to run the gauntlet through our handgunners. No, they're running back down the mountain side. And the last remaining French knights surrender to our general, Paolo the Rough. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. So a quick and easy victory at the loss of only 115 men. Our crossbowmen did very well as did the mounted crossbowmen. So both the Tuscan crossbowmen and the mounted crossbowmen did very well in this battle. Klar Sieg clear victory. We offered the captive knights up for ransom. The king did not pay the ransom, so they had to be disposed of in one way or another. Paolo the Wrathful feels appreciated. His loyalty has increased and he is now cruel and cunning and dreaded by the French. Thank you for watching.